guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new of course welcome I'm Mand so today's video we are going to venture north of Ireland oh <laughs> and we're going to talk about Ballygally Castle so sit down relax grab some snacks and we'll get into the tale of it Ballygally Castle, jeez, that's a mouse, mouthful, <laughs> is in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. Now, it is in the small little village of Ballygally, and it, the castle itself now serves as a hotel and is the only 17th century building that is still used as a residence in the north of Ireland. It is believed to be the most haunted place in Ulster. So let's get into some little bit history of the castle and then we will move on to some of the haunted stories that have been told and all that really fun stuff. So the castle was built by James Shaw of Scotland who came to the area and rented land. Over the main entrance door of the castle leading to the tower room there is a Middle Scot Scots inscription that says, Goddess Providence is my inheritance. Now, the castle is built near the sea. It's overlooking um, the sea in the Ballygally Bay. <laughs> Goodness me, that's a mouthful. And the castle had been under quite a lot of attacks that were unsuccessful during the rebellion of 1641. Now, the castle did stay in the Shaw family possession for quite some time until it was passed to William Shaw in 1799. And he sold the castle for £15,000. So let's get into some of the haunted stories of this place. This castle does host quite a number of ghosts but the most active is Lady Isabella Shaw. She's known to uh, appear in people's rooms at the foot of their bed, she's known to disappear as well, knock on doors, you name it, but she's supposed to be quite a friendly spirit. Legend has it that Lord James Shaw married Isabella. And unfortunately, she was unable to produce a male heir, which, of course, Lord James really wanted. He wanted a boy. And when she gave birth to a girl, he was really, really angry and locked her in the tower room and took the baby away from her and pretty much just locked her there and left was leaving her there to starve. Now, as the story goes, she climbed out the window in hopes to see her baby one more time, but unfortunately fell to her death. Another theory or tale is Lord James was quite cruel and he or one of his henchmen may have thrown her out of the window. So like I said, Lady Isabella's spirit is supposed to be quite a friendly one. People have reported seeing her walk up and down the corridors, knock on doors. Apparently, she does leave a scent of vanilla around as well. So, she does seem to be quite friendly and they do believe that she's searching for her daughter. The ghost room in the castle is believed to be the room where Isabella was locked and may have fell to her death. Another ghost that has been reported there is Lady, oh sorry, Madam Nixon. Now she pretty much just walks the corridors, also knocks on doors and a lot of people can actually hear her walking in her silk dress. Now there was one interesting story that I did find about this place was allegedly an elderly couple stayed in the castle for a few days over the Christmas period. Now, when they arrived, the staff were getting ready for a fancy dress ball. So the couple went to their room and a while later, there was a knock on, the, on their door and there was a waiter who was dressed up in medieval costume and he had arrived to invite them to the ball. Now, they had a lovely evening with the guests and surrounded by the staff 
and enjoyed their evening and so on. The next morning, while they were having their breakfast, they were talking to the manageress and they were saying to her what a wonderful evening they had at the ball and how much fun they had. And this shocked the manageress because, yes, there was a fancy dress ball, but it hadn't happened yet and it wasn't going to for another two days. So it is safe to say that the um, elderly couple didn't stay much longer after that. They kind of pretty much got out of there as quick as possible. So guys, that is the tale of Ballygally Castle in County Antrim. It's really sad about Lady Isabel. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you think it's really haunted or do you think it's another one of these tales that are told to get people to come visit this castle? Either way, it was really fun researching this. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you like my channel, do subscribe. We'd love to have you. And as always, sending you so much love and light your way, guys. I really hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.